Okay, greetings and welcome to another episode of Crime Pays the Body Does It. Today we're on the side of the road, and I don't know where to, you know, it's just outside of Austin, beginning at Edwards Plateau. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But it's all going to be Dollar General and strip malls and housing and all that shit. They're f***ing it into a coma, like so many places in Texas. But that's just aside. We don't need to think about that negative thing, okay? That's such a negative subject. But let's take a look at this underappreciated plant, a member of the genus Yucca. This is Yucca Rupicola, and you can see it just lays low. You wouldn't notice it were it not for these giant inflorescences of flowers that are pollinated only by one insect. That is, it's a specificist relationship. There's only one insect that can pollinate this plant. If that insect goes out, the plant goes out. All species of yucca actually will go out because it's tegeticula yucca cell, the yucca moth that pollinates all all yucca species, well not all, there's there's other species of yucca moth, but it's only moths that pollinate yucca. So there you go. That's uh, that's the flower, that's what's going on right there. You got those six stamens and you got that three lobed stigma. A female yucca moth comes in, she takes the little pollen granules off there, puts them to another plant, and actually has to physically stuff the pollen granules inside that thing so it's not just passive like with a bee where a bee you know he's, he's going in there she's going in there whatever the fuck they them are going in there getting that goddamn some pollen and nectar and what this shit and then they fly off to another flower and just by accident they got pollen on their legs and it ends up hitting the stigma of a flower no 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 this is intentional this is intentional pollination okay she knows what she's doing in there she goes and she stuffs the pollen in there why does she do it because after she stuffs the pollen inside that uh, this this uh, ovary right here, you know, consisting of three fused carpels. Okay, each one of those is a carpel. Uh, she's gonna lay eggs in there, and so it's kind of a mutualism. I mean, it is a mutualism. It's a nice thing they got worked out. You know, you pollinate my flowers, I'll let you lay some eggs inside that ovary, and they can eat some of the seeds uh, when they mature. And they won't eat all of them, and so the seeds they don't eat will uh, go on to produce hopefully more yucca seedlings, and then the uh, Larva, of course, will mature in there, turn into uh, yucca moth, uh, yeah, well, they will be yucca moth caterpillars, and they'll turn into yucca moths, and then they'll go on, uh, you know, pollinating more yucca flowers. This situation's been going on like this for millions of years. Joshua trees are a yucca species, only pollinated by a yucca moth out there in the Mojave Desert, okay? Yucca uh, cernua, the endangered one from East Texas, pollinated by yucca moth. Northern Plains yuccas, pollinated by yucca moth, only a yucca moth can pollinate the goddamn yucca flowers. That's why they're white. That's why, uh, well, they're open during the day too, but, uh, you know, they're mostly getting hit at night. So, pretty fascinating. And this is the fucking great plant, too. It really is. I mean, look, this you don't you don't even notice it. I'm surprised they don't use it in landscaping around uh, Austin more, you know? But, you know, every place I go to, no matter where it is, like these flowers haven't even opened yet, every place I go to, whether it's here or fucking Australia or whatever, you know, the dominant culture always wants the, the landscaping that's on the other side of the fence. Nobody ever appreciates their native flora. Start appreciating yucca rupicola and all the other cool shit that grows uh, in these uh, vanishing uh, landscapes. Look at the fucking Monarda over there. Holy hell. God damn, that's nice. And Monarda, man, it's, these, these, these are so great. They smell so good. Ah, you still got some of that uh, more music influence. Then, of course, you go to the west, and you're in, uh, you start getting into the Chihuahua Desert. West Texas, special place in my heart, all right? Anyway, so this is Helianthus maximilianae. You can see it's just getting started. It's herbaceous perennial. The top dies. It's a sunflower. It's a fucking ball-busting sunflower. Gets it gets tall as fuck well, in some places. I don't know if it will hear how deep the soil is or if it's on that... Uh, limestone or whatever, but it's just getting started. Like many members of the sunflower family, it's a late season bloomer, okay? Not like a Wedelia hispida, though, which is going off now. You can see that Wedelia, which is also a scabbard bastard. It's got those little hairs, feels kind of like sandpaper. All right, so many good natives. All right, appreciate where you are. Don't be a jackass. Appreciate where you are. Appreciate the floor where you are. This Helianthus, I can't wait to be driving back down this road. You know, in a month or two, see, it's just slowly getting big, and then by August, September, it'll be lit up. Fucking huge flowers on it. Who do we got over here? Oh, we got Texas persimmon. They're slowly maturing. That's another banger plant. Edible and delicious. Look at this. is nice. You got, you got Roos lanceolata, and you have uh, Roos virens over here. The waxy 
the waxy ass uh, roos. See that with that waxy cuticle on it. Both lovely. Both fucking lovely. Tiny white flowers, good for the pollinators, and just real sturdy plant. Is that a piece of garbage in there? Shit, I don't even see it. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I just want to stop and show you these yuccas because this was such a nice, such a nice little population of them too. Look at that, like little white torches. God, yucca Traculiana we get down in South Texas. Massive fucking, man, you get you get yucca carnarosana and Nuevo Leon. Seeing fields of those things lit up. You got yucca filifera, which can be upward. You know, I have a base 10 feet across. Massive fucking thing, 30 feet tall. Yucca's a cool genus. And you get the little squat bastards and shit. All kinds of nice stuff. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye. What are these guys doing out already? We're going to block the road till they make it all the way across. That's a cutie pie. Isn't it cute? You can hear the peacocks fucking in the... Come on, get out the road. Get out the road. Go, let's go. There you go. Get, hurry up, buddy. Get out of there. Come on, goddammit. Fucking Texas drivers, they're terrible. You know that. Fucking idyllic. Look, you get a little delphinium over there. See that? A little larkspur. The nectar spur. You get some nice... Uh, Antelope horns, uh, fruits too. We're gonna have to get some. Take these home. Try and get them.